This is a definite comfort meal. I'm Tess, and tonight I'm making a southern stewed chicken dinner with a side of white rice, an upside-down Vidalia onion, and jalapeno cornbread. That's a lot of goodness right there. This southern stewed chicken dinner is loaded with southern Cajun flavor. It does take time to make, but it is well worth it. You all know by now that bone-in chicken thighs are my preference. You want to use bone-in chicken for this recipe as the chicken will be stewed or cooked low and slow. The bone-in pieces hold up better in the cooking and add tons more flavor. I have a family pack of bone-in chicken thighs that I cleaned, trimmed, dried, and now seasoning with some salt, black pepper, and you can use your favorite Cajun seasoning. I'm seasoning the skin side first, and we'll season the other side once in the pan. In my deep cast iron skillet on medium-high heat, I added some vegetable oil and placing my chicken thigh skin side down. You want to use a large deep skillet or pan for this recipe, as you'll be adding two quarts of liquid and you want to have enough room. Seasoning the chicken, and then flipping once the skin has browned and loosened from the pan, and this is going to take five to seven minutes on the skin side, and three to four minutes on the other side. You may need to adjust your heat from a medium high to a medium, as you just want to form a nice brown crust. Once browned, remove the chicken from the pan and set to the side. I have about a half a cup of oil and chicken fat in the bottom of the pan, along with all the chicken bits. On medium heat, I'm adding in a good pat of butter, a finely diced large onion, three stalks of celery, and about half of a large bell pepper. I'm using red, but you can use green or any color. The onion, celery, and bell pepper is called the Cajun Holy Trinity in cooking. Cooking and stirring for three to four minutes, and you will see right away that the moisture from the vegetables will help deglaze the pan and soak up all that chicken flavor. Now I'm adding in a good tablespoon of minced garlic. Cooking and stirring for another minute. I still have my heat on a medium to low medium, and I'm adding in a half a cup of flour. This is going to make a roux and help thicken our stew. Cooking and stirring for three to four minutes. You want the fat to absorb all the flour. Keep stirring and scraping the bottom so nothing sticks or burns. You want to give the flour a good toasting to get rid of the raw flavor. Once the flour starts changing color, I'm going to start adding in the liquid. I'm adding in a little at a time. You can use water, but I like to add in chicken broth to enhance the flavor. Turning my heat up to bring this up to a simmer, adding a little at a time and stirring. The only spice I'm adding in at this time is a teaspoon more of the Cajun seasoning. I will taste it along the way for more spices, giving that a good stir. Now I'm placing all the chicken and the juices back into the pan bringing this up to a simmer and cooking uncovered for an hour. Halfway through, I will give the chicken a flip and will occasionally stir to make sure nothing sticks. Just a reminder that you'll be able to find this recipe and the list of ingredients below this video. Also remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel so you can receive notifications of my future video recipes. It's been an hour and I gave the stewed chicken a taste. You can see the liquid is reduced some. I'm adding in a little garlic powder and a good dose of hot sauce. You can use your favorite brand and the amount that you like. I'm adding in a good tablespoon, but I like to have it on the table in case anybody wants to hot up their southern stewed chicken. Now is also a good time to skim any fat or impurities off the top. Simmering for another 30 minutes and it will be ready.
The chicken has simmered for a total of an hour and a half. The chicken is tender and falling off the bone. At this point, you can serve the chicken as is, or you can shred the chicken and add it back into the stew. Tonight, I'm serving the stewed chicken as is. I removed the chicken, and what is left is a pot full of chicken goodness. This consistency here is just fine, but I like it thicker like a gravy. So I'm adding in a cornstarch water slurry. This is a tablespoon, and I'm adding in about half, and I think that might be enough. Letting that simmer for a couple minutes, and it will be ready. It's smelling so good. Tonight I'm serving the stewed chicken with a side of white rice, but you can serve it with mashed potatoes or noodles. I also made an upside down Vidalia onion and jalapeno cornbread. I used my six inch cast iron pans. I browned and caramelized about a half an inch slice of Vidalia onion in each pan. I turned off my heat and added sliced jalapeno peppers around the onion and then poured my cornbread mixture on top and spread out evenly. I baked as usual. Removed, let slightly cool, and then turned over. I must say they turned out beautiful and extra good. It's real simple to do, and I'm sure your family will love it. Now it's time to serve and eat. The chicken is so tender, and the gravy is concentrated with those flavors of chicken, all the vegetables, and the Cajun spice. Very satisfying and comforting. I hope you give the Southern Stew Chicken Dinner a try, and enjoy. If you like this video recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Facebook and at my website. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love!